So as I continue on my book drafting process, uh, today's topic is about headspace and the importance of how it can affect your mental health and well-being. Um, so if you want to keep on listening and watching, that would be super cool. Welcome back to consecutive day 1,423 of a diary of a rumpreneur. Uh, if you believe in my mission of saving the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultramarathon, and run blogging on consecutive days, barefoot style, the distance of lap of the world, do give this a subscribe, share, like, and comment as the more people get in front of, the more money we raise, and ultimately the more children's lives we save, which is every reason I put myself through this every single day. Thank you as always, and let's get started. So, consecutive day 1,423 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And the uh, topic discussion today is about the importance of headspace and how it has an impact on your mental health and well-being. So, this is part of my book kind of drafting journey and um, it's called the Stacking Stools System of Systems and ultimately it's about kind of three foundational pillars or legs on every stool that you stack in life and this is the health stool, the very bottom foundational stool you need to get right and one of the legs or pillars or foundations is called the uh, mental, your mental health and each uh, foundation is every split into five different sub topics today's And um, yeah, really, really important one because ultimately we live in crazy busy worlds. So not every inch that we want to, there will be people who manage to kind of create a life for themselves where it's a lot more calm, a lot more kind of tranquil. But they are few far between. I would say 95 to 99% of people would describe their lives as busy. Um, and even though some people probably don't live busy lives in comparison to others, but in their kind of own relative world, busy is what is busy to them. And um, so what comes with busyness or stress, anxiety, um, overwhelm? These are all kind of common themes that come with, with the busyness of life. And um, that's where headspace can be a really, really important tool in um, arsenal in kind of developing a kind of, kind of equilibrium, a balanced mental health, um, mental resilience, um, and kind of counteracting the negative impacts of stress. So um, there are several kind of ways and means that this can kind of help, and there's several ways you can kind of use it. Um, pretty obviously, um, the, the term kind of headspace is probably most people are familiar with the app is regarding meditation and mindfulness. It's about having some kind of structured um, kind of strategies or practices for getting your mind into a kind of meditative or mindfulness state where you can kind of you can be distant, you can, you can create clarity, you can create peace, you can create calmness, which is a way of recharging your mind, which is so so important. Um, so many of us we recharge our bodies by resting and sleeping. But some people struggle to sleep to get mental rest. They struggle to switch off. They have um, quite kind of vivid dreams, um, which can kind of take the toll on their mental state. So for those people, meditation, mindfulness practices can be super, super useful. Um, I'll talk about different types of rest um, in a further chapter, but for the course of, of this section, Rest is so important to your mind. Now, rest doesn't have to be sleep. It can be kind of just a break, taking a break from what you're doing and just trying to switch off from it for a brief moment. It can be relaxing. It can be kind of sitting there, you know, watching TV, listening to music, doing something that takes very little brain power to do to kind of relax. 
back to the charge. Um, it doesn't have to be you know, sleep a lot of people associate rest with. So um, that can be a really good way of getting kind of headspace. I've covered some topics there, like listening to music, watching TV, reading a book. These are kind of things that you can do with much less pressure and intensity on your mind and um, that can create headspace and clarity of thought. But you know what? Just sitting in silence <laughs> can be a way of doing it. Just kind of switching off from everything, taking all distractions away. Just sitting there and having a moment of calm. That is great headspace. Um, quite often people will go out and have a walk or run because you're in nature you kind of um, the outdoors which is so so powerful when you can go down the road like this completely on my own in the countryside it's so so tranquil and it's a great headspace for me and I'll talk to you but this is a little bit of my headspace as well is talking it's um, you know maybe having a conversation could be headspace with someone who just happens to listen but that could be headspace it's, it's a great great way of kind of assessing, analysing, gaining clarity on events that just happen, putting things into perspective is a really good kind of um, discussion point as well, is um, in the heat of the moment where emotions run high, um, the reality is as things can seem amplified, you take a step back and put things into perspective, you can realise that actually um, it's not anywhere near as bad as the first thing, or it may not even get anywhere near as good. So having that kind of step back and reflection is really, really important. Um, so yeah, I suppose the learnings in my diary today is that we all need headspace. And headspace to some can be deep meditation practices. To others it could be just sitting in silence. It could be taking a walk, taking a run, listening to music. Um, although music and, and kind of TV and books and things um, aren't quite space often means, but it can work for some. So the key here to understand is that what works for one doesn't necessarily work for everyone, but understanding the importance of that space is taking a, a break from that busy, hustle and bustle daily life and getting some time to process your thoughts, getting some time to reflect, giving some time to put things in perspective, um, clearing the kind of passion and rest of emotions that they have, um, volatile emotions that they have. Oh. Um.